So uh, around that time, if you you guys are still there, um, in a place where I can meet up with you, then yeah, we should. The pandemic after the First World War interrupted everything for over three years. Well, in World War Two, like well, before the First World War, like we were not as connected. So I guess like um, maybe people didn't feel it as much. You know what I mean? But um, now with everything being so interconnected, like we crave like being able to do things and to go places. So um, yeah, but we're, we're playing some Spiritfarer because um, the patch fixed up some things, so that's always good. Uh, I think it's one negative one fifty by. Here. I think that the interconnected nature of the world now means the virus will rotate faster. Yep, it will rotate faster and there'll be more um, deadly variants of the, the virus. Because um, despite people saying, no, no, it didn't happen in the lab, I think I think it was a man-made virus. And um, it was engineered to, to be able to mutate and to be deadly, so... It's just going to be a, a game of uh, catch-up. Catch -up. Um, but I trust the vaccine to the extent that I do. I mean, I didn't trust AstraZeneca, but I'll, I'll trust Pfizer. I mean, the American government wouldn't give their entire population Pfizer unless they trusted it. You know, they don't want to kill their citizens. I think we have to assume it was a bioweapon development program set. Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were messing around with it, I think, and, uh, it was going to be like a probable weapon of war. And let's, you know, let's not sugarcoat it. China isn't the only one doing this. It's it's multiple nations. Yeah. Um, so, this one here was... Which location was it? Was it under shenanigans? No, it was... Nukes destroy everyone's viruses can hit a target population. Yes. Well, somewhat targeted. Because, I mean, as the, the pandemic has shown, once the virus got out of Wuhan, then, you know, everyone was affected. So, it'd be difficult to quarantine, like, a country in a wartime situation. Yeah. But I, I think as, as this pandemic has shown everyone, you can't... You can't give, like, a bioweapon to a particular, you know, population and then expect it to not, you know, blow back onto you. Corona also crushed the Hong Kong protest movement, which was very convenient. I mean, I think it would have been crushed by China anyway. Inevitably. Because the Western world wasn't going to help. Okay, so this, this location has brought me to... Was this? Well, anyway, let's let's check out whoever this is. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, great. Anyway, my only advice is to opt out with crypto. Opt out with crypto. What do you mean? Oh, great! Just fantastic. The spirit fair is here. On this godforsaken rock in the middle of the ocean. She came all the way over here. Opt out of the system by investing in crypto. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcome to you. Collector, otherwise known as Susan. I think Bitcoin will end up being the base layer of the global financial system within one decade now. Or it could be completely regulated by governments because, let's face it, cryptocurrencies are a way for, you know, people to get around government taxation. 
And uh, I know that it is... You have to declare cryptocurrencies now. Well, in certain countries you do. But I mean, like, you know, in places like El Salvador, of all places, like, oh yeah, Bitcoin's legal in El fucking Salvador, in Guatemala. It's like, you, you know why it's it's legal there. It's because it's bloody... I'm not going into it. Spirit Pharaoh? Yeah, we already did that. The gods and all their materialistic arrogance have placed a portrait on me. You see, I'm the collector not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of this one. Yeah, you will know they come to stockpile junk. Right, I do have junk. Just to reward this unconscionable be Oh, okay. Junk or junk? No, I'm... People El Salvador have managed to dodge 600 million in fees to Western Union per year thanks to Bitcoin. I mean, there's, there's an argue, argument to be made that um, credit companies and, and you know financial institutions are inherently predatory. Um, but there's also the argument that, you know, you shouldn't be able to dodge tax. There's also the argument that um, governments don't really know what to do with tax. They don't know how to spend it properly. But uh, I don't like the idea of um, people putting all their um, assets into crypto to try to, to dodge tax, which is what I feel like a lot of people are trying to do. My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do with... Uh -huh. but, the job, but the job description says nothing about that and I certainly have no interest in your filth. Oh shit. Susan. Bitcoin has never been about tax dodging. It's not as private as that. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together. Grab your million as reward and leave quickly. And pick up after yourself. Alright. Well, Susan is our biggest fan. I do have some of these dolls, don't I? Right, a very quaint doll. What are you gonna give me? <laughs> Susan's, Susan's kind of fucked. <laughs> the on and off ramps are now regulated enough that they have strict KYC, know your customer rules in place. I always follow a very simple rule of life. Um, if I don't know what something is about, then I don't pretend to know and I don't really invest money into it. That's just my system. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That man? Was that the man... Susan? Susan is the horrible woman that the, the man on the island said to go to. Right. Right. So Susan's a warus, and the man on the island is a sloth. Alright. Shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. Yeah. Crooked, treacherous weasel. Yep. They're fucked in the past. Oh, he is mad about the woodprint. Oh, shit. Okay, what do I get? Like, one glim? Oh, suck shit. Suck shit. <laughs> that was the reward to get the woodprint back. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. But we're not done yet, Susan. We're not done yet. Okay, the albacore. I think you have always been a very fair and thoughtful person who does not engage in hyperbole, but I feel you are doing yourself a disservice by not investing in Bitcoin. If I can propose an audiobook less than 10 hours, I encourage you to listen.
Sure, why not? How exciting. You've started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. Fish is not junk, my friend. Fish is delicious. They smell bad, and they're all terribly ugly. Fish- oh! Oh, okay. Fish are ugly. Oh, okay. Think about it, I will try to link you on Discord. Sure. They smell bad. Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. Oh, I will. I will, just to spite you. They are slippery little bastards. Hematite times three. Okay. Alright, what else can I get from you? Mystery item. Right, I, need, I, I do need to find the... Um, the... The diamond. But I will claim this reward. Broken shiny rocks. Uh, so this game, how do you feel about it? I have watched a few people playing it, and it just does not do it for me. I feel like um, there is a lot of uh, resource management, and um, it can be a very casual game. But I think, as you've seen um, me, you know, as I've been playing, it's a very long game. Um, it has its moments, but they're few and far between the uh, the inventory management. I do like the art still. But I, I say that about a lot of games, so this, this is a significant time investment. So would I recommend it for someone that's got limited time? Absolutely not. If you're after something, um, it's, it's also like a little bit woke as well, but it's got some tidbits in there that are like, it's decent. I mean, I don't mind like games which have a little bit of wokeness in it i mean we, we don't want like you know all of our games to be throwback games i've said it before but i would love to see you play valhalla or the red strings club they're very text heavy but good i haven't been playing a lot of um the, the demos which are point and clicks which in my opinion have lots of text but you know i'll, I'll get around to i'll get around to games I have both games on my Steam account, so you would not need to buy. You've offered this before, so... But, with my streaming schedule the way that it is, I'm first trying to get through the games that I've already started, and then I've got a, a few in mind that I, you know... Like, Doom 3. I've been wanting to play Doom 3 for about a month now, but... Because I've got all my other stuff on my plate, as well as work, I just haven't got around to it. It's kind of the reason why today I decided just to smash Spirit Pharaoh. I just wanted to see how far I could get through it. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Doom 3 sounds like a great idea. If it plays, like, I, I hope it's, like, optimized. Because I'm playing it on, like, a, a Linux machine, not a, a Windows machine, but... Yeah, I think it'd be nice. I've, I, I've actually been having a blast with the, all of the, um, the demo FPSs that I've been playing. Yeah. Okay. Susan? That was uncalled for. Vable necklace times two. Uh, Alright. Right. What else we got here? And claim another reward? Way your new desktop is Windows or Linux? Well, like this, I'm playing off Manjaro. But um, on my other hard drive is Windows 10. They're trying to force people to go into Windows 11 pretty hard at the moment, but I'm just going to wait for that. But right now I'm playing, you know, on Manjaro. Which is a distribution of uh, Arch Linux. So... It's, it's very easy to pick up, plays Windows games perfectly fine. I really need to invest more time to learning about virtual machines because then I could make a virtual machine of Windows and then I could probably play Skyrim with mods through that. Windows 10 gets support until 2025, so stay there for now. That's what I feel like. Like, 
I'm I'm kind of moving away from Windows altogether. I need it on there because of certain reasons, like certain programs and certain games. But you know, mm -hmm. I can live just fine with Manjaro. Manjaro is like, it's changed me. <laughs> it's changed me. I, it, this Manjaro is lit. Manjaro is lit. That's all I'll say. All right, old painting times two. I shall take it, Susan. All right, fish. Oh yes, I shall find this. <laughs> Susan, like, is kind of yeah. Old carpet. I moved away from Mac, as you know, because of uh, Windows options, but ultimately I think you have to maintain comfort with Linux, Windows, and Mac. So I've kept my MacBook for that. Well, I probably need to, to learn more about Mac, but like I said with, before with the virtual machine stuff, technically I should be able to have a virtual machine of both Windows and Mac OS. So then I could like play around. The keyboard will be different for um, Mac OS, but not too much different. Yeah. So, I mean, Linux is all you need technically. But yeah. Crusher upgrade, okay. okay. Any more metal? Ah, yes, the dishes, he asks. 98 dishes? Damn. I get more clothes. Been using VirtualBox to run Linux on the Windows machine, but the graphics options have been a pain and the screen res has suffered. It's it's all these like neat little things. It's all just homework, you know? It's all just homework. All these cool things I want to do, it's just like I need to set aside time to learn it, and I also want to game, and I also want to do this, and I also want to do that, I also want to gym. <sighs> Never enough time, you know? However, at work, during like, um, you know, lapses in like work, I have been studying some Japanese, and I've also um, been doing some touch typing, and I'm thinking of doing some um, um, math. From the Khan Academy. So I used to do that months ago, but then I stopped. But I want to get back into it. That'd be good. Easter. Easter outfit. Gym is must, so jelly batch your gym access now. Can't really join a gym now the way things are. Yeah. Like, now that I'm, I've been going to the gym, I, I understand how people become like, Oh, I need to go to the gym. So, well, like, gyms too have pretty much shut down. Yeah, I get it. Extra reward, honey. I think there's no more rewards for me. Alright, I think uh, we're done with Susan. We got some good stuff. This should unlock some of the, the map now. If I go here, will this unlock the map? Good. Alright. Gym is actually important for mental health in a way. I agree. I do agree. Once you get endorphins from gym, you stop chasing endorphins from vices. Yeah, like, um, you know, when you finish doing a couple of, um, or a session at the gym, and you're on your way back home, you're like, yeah, I did something. I feel good. Like, while you're there, you're getting your ass kicked, but, yeah. Susan's Museum. Alright, let's, let's go to the Aluminium Dragon first. Now, was there anything else? Yes, but you start to love to kick your ass. Yeah. You do. 
Right, we we gotta we gotta bring Sama to the uh the nether realm. We gotta play the trap card and banish her to the shadow realm. She's apparently begging to be killed, so you're not starving. Um well look, you can have some old fashioned shellfish stew. There we go. Anyway, nice to see you streaming. Catch you again soon. See ya. Alright, life. You take it easy, man. And uh, I shall see you around. Oh. Oh, this is the aluminium dragon. Yeah. Can I not get inside here? Guess not. And I can't get inside there either. Yes. Of course we should help the dragon. Hello, dragon. Oh, really? Only three aluminium more. 